What's going on, Cantina patrons? He's Darth Paul. I'm Padawan Dave. And welcome to the Mudhorn Cantina. Today we're going to be checking out the Stellan Geos Limited Edition Legacy Lightsaber Box Set from Disney. And just before we get started, a very quick word on the High Republic era and Stellan Geos. I'm sure most Star Wars diehards know, but casuals probably don't. The High Republic era is set a sort of couple of hundred years before The Phantom Menace. It's kind of a Disney's, well not really new initiative anymore, but for a kind of multimedia purpose of getting graphic novels, comics and sort of young adult novels to kind of full novels and audiobooks out there for, for these characters. Stellan Geos kind of it covers his storyline from being a Padawan to a, to a Jedi Master and his is the first lightsaber that they've actually produced as a physical collectible. Yep, and they've extended that media reach further with Young Jedi Adventures. That animated series that debuted last year to credible claim is set during the High Republic. The Acolyte, which debuts June 5th of this year, is set during the final days of the era, and so too is the highly anticipated Star Wars Eclipse video game being developed by Quantic Dream. Unfortunately, it seems we'll have to wait several years for that, though. But that's enough about that. Let's get back to the box. And as with all the limited edition Legacy lightsaber box sets, it comes in this nice ornate wooden box. It's got obviously some nice uh, kind of printing and design on the sides. Well, it looks a bit worn as well, right? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd we, say we always say the Star Wars weathered. Yeah, the whole universe is weathered. And then obviously it has the um, Jedi symbol slap bang in the middle. On the front slash bottom of the box, it has the High Republic written in Arabish. Both sides have the same decorative design. And finally on the top slash back, it has Stellan Geos again written in Arabish. So the box opens with these two latches and slides apart like so, revealing a variant comic book cover exclusive to this set. Yeah, I was just about to say, and it features Stellan Geos with this very lightsaber uh, on the front of the cover. And I believe it's a bunch of short stories that have been told in the past, right? So yeah, it's just right. like it's reproduced. Like a... Yes, exactly. With this variant cover, which looks really, really cool. And underneath, we have these very important and very boring instructions. What have you done with those plans? And underneath that, we have the certificate of authenticity with the edition size. Looks like we've got 4,867 out of 5,000. And as you guys can see, it says Stellan Geos Legacy Lightsaber Hilt. And I believe in Arabesh, this is limited edition, right? Yeah, that's correct. And it does also have a quote below from the man himself. The Jedi are meant to find meaning in the order, in one another, in doing our duty. If it's difficult to stay that course, sometimes that's a sign we need to work harder, not to step back. It's also a sign that our own selfish desires might be turning into attachments and that those desires need to be sacrificed. Sounds like one of those typical Jedi Council zealots to me. And finally we have the lightsaber itself. And as you guys can see, it's pretty unique. Pretty lightsaber, for lack of a better word. Yeah, they definitely had a, a different take on things in the uh, High Republic, I think. Yeah, like the black, the gold, the silver. It's like or, ornate. I think you used that word earlier to describe yeah. the box. Would you? Would you say it's a? Yeah, I'd agree. I think it's a, it's very similar with their with what they wear as well in the in the era. It's all very like a lot of gold and a lot yeah. of flamboyant kind of clothing. Whereas, and it was all clean, right? Because it like it yeah, wasn't really, wartime essentially. No, exactly. Right? Yeah. It's, I mean, that, that kind of comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Spoiler would you expect? <laughs> but yeah, so the hilts, yeah, it's got a got a fair bit of weight to it as well. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much identical either side. It does include the uh, belt connector on the bottom, which may have just been a, a piece to help cosplay, but in the High Republic novels, they typically hold their lightsabers actually in a sheath or a holster on their belt. Yeah. So as you would have seen on the comic book cover, it features the kind of cross guard design, similar to the things that Ezra finds in Rebels when they're, before they meet Maul at the uh, Sith Temple, and obviously the most recent Kylo Ren sabers. The one thing I was really glad they, they added with this was the fact that the cross guard blades and the quinlans actually fold away because when the blade is not ignited, the quinlans are closed. So these clip down and then the cross guard blades just screw away. And then these just clip back up like so. And that's how the lightsaber looks when it's not ignited. So the last thing left to do is to pop a blade in. Got a weird sound, right? 
Yeah, it is a bit different to the others. I think maybe, is it like an Old Republic style? Maybe. Played? It definitely sounds different from like the, the ones we're used to, like Luke's, yeah. Vader's or Obi-Wan's. I don't know how to describe it. It sounds I don't know, like, more like a machine to me than, I don't know, more mechanical, more robotic. I don't know, again, if that's a... Uh, sign of the era yeah or something like that but yeah there's no other other buttons on the on the saber to kind of control any other functions it is really just a standard disney parks yeah saber. And, it, and it's one color right it yeah exactly there's no color, color changing. changing features like the couple of editions they've done or any like neo pixel lightsaber yeah it does obviously have the features if you're like getting shot if you yeah but yeah other than that it's a pretty cool looking saber but yeah, yeah i was Kind of really, really impressed with how they did the cross guard. I just didn't expect that on, on really a cross between a toy and a collectible. Yeah. Yeah, it does look pretty good, and the light looks really good as well. Like a nice vibrant blue. Mm. Um, obviously, we've got the the light shining here, so it makes it, I guess, look a bit more kind of white blue. But I, I think it still looks pretty decent on camera. But it is a, I can definitely assure you guys, it is a nice vibrant blue. Um, also, I'm struggling to fit the blade in because that is. It's not the longest blade either, actually, is it? The, uh... No, I think this is the 31 inch. Is that like the middle one? Yeah. And even that's quite long, to be fair. Yeah. So, you know, maybe could have popped a short one in there, but yeah, I, I think just, as I said before, like just that ornate design, the black, the gold, the silver, even the red in there. Is that is that the ig ig um, ignition switch? Is that well, right? it may be on the actual saber, obviously on, on the actual yeah. collectible. It's done from there. Yeah, yeah. We see that's... Yeah like part and parcel with most of the like sabers anyway yeah right? exactly yeah. It's, got, it's got to have like a functioning like mechanical yeah, part exactly. to it essentially to make it ignite whereas obviously in universe the design is a little bit more ornate again if yeah it's... well obviously <laughs> because they're all made from real life things yeah. originally so yeah. they were all just things that were bought and cobbled together so they then had to make them work and yeah, have exactly. an excuse for them but uh, yeah, as I said, I, I genuinely do think it's a really, really nice looking saber. Um, I get like a sort of omen feels for sure, you know? Yeah, definitely. I think it's it's definitely designed as like a broadsword. I think he he would typically wield it with both hands. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. That is the Stellan Geos Limited Edition Legacy Lightsaber. You know our thoughts on it already. We've used that word on eight probably like a hundred times already. A beautiful piece, but we want to know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you did want to pick this up, unfortunately, it sold out pretty quick in the US, but is still available here in the UK from shopdisney.co.uk. And speaking of Shop Disney and speaking of probably selling out, the Asajj Ventress, it is the limited edition legacy. Yeah, that's edition. right. They're, they're releasing a new box on Monday the 11th. Yep. Um, it'll be like a, a dual, like a dual saber set. So both sabers, it'll be her previously released saber that just kind of came in the standard gray box that you could get from Disney Parks. Yep. But this is both sabers together in like a lovely ornate wooden box. Yeah, and it looks awesome the way it opens yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it's reference to the original Clone Wars yeah. 2D anime where Dooku prevent, presents her with that the lightsabers. That box, isn't it? I believe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the, the whole design looks cool. Yeah. Uh, as we said, that does drop on... Uh, well, we don't know if it's going to drop on Shop Disney here in the UK. No, exactly. Sometimes Dis we get things late. Yeah. Sometimes... Sometimes it's the same day. Yeah. Sometimes it's like a few days late and other times we... It's not at all. Not at all. And sometimes it's been like two or three weeks yeah. later. So we're going to keep an eye out it, eye out for it, pardon me. Uh, as we said, and as you guys probably saw from the images, it looks pretty spectacular. We can't wait. And we do hope to be able to show it off on the channel very soon. And well, guys, that brings us to the end of episode two. We really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with us here on the Mudhorn Cantina. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give us the thumbs up. If you're as big a fan of Star Wars as we are, make sure you subscribe. We drop videos every single Saturday. Speaking of which, if you want to check out the last episode, there it is for you right now. Otherwise, guys, thanks again for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.